Hello, sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube Nation. John here with Riga Picks. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. My Monday is crazy. We are getting an insane amount of rain out here. Um, they just shut down. Literally, I went to work this morning. I was there for like 35 minutes. Got a phone call. Said, "Hey, they're going to shut down the road. You know, you might want to think about getting back home." So I hopped back right back in my truck and drove, you know, the 56 miles back home. Literally had to drive through rocks and um, a water over the road from a, normally a little just little water runoff that's uh, now flooding the road there's now four places that are flooding that road and it is now shut down so i i, I mean when i came off of that road which is around this, this giant lake they uh there was somebody there stopping there was a park ranger there stopping traffic saying hey this road shut down so i <laughs> barely made it back to my baby girl so might be daddy daycare for a couple of days but that's all right spend some time with the daughter It'll be all right anyways for you guys, sorry about the late video, but um, go Monday Night Football for this. We've got the Rams and the 49ers. The line is so fishy in this one. It's so suspect to me. Um, makes me think the NFL is going to put their little grubby paws in it and be like, ah, oh, everybody's going to jump on the Rams. I'm going to jump on the Rams. They're 7-2. and two. They're 4-0 on the road. The 49ers are 3-5. and five. They're 0-4 at home. Um, 49ers just don't have an identity. Don't know who they are. They, they, they've won one of their last five games. They beat the Bears. They got absolutely annihilated by a Cardinals team that was missing their quarterback, one of their top receivers, a couple defensive guys, and just got absolutely pummeled. Um, the Rams, they can bring defense. They haven't really brought it a lot this year. But if you look at their last five games, they've beat Houston, Detroit, and New York Giants. I mean, they haven't played anybody. They beat the Seahawks. The Seahawks are a decent team, but the Seahawks are also fading. And then they got beat by Tennessee, who's a, a pretty good team. But in my opinion, the 49ers... They're in the bottom half of that barrel um, in terms of teams played. So the Rams' strength of schedule, not there. They're 7-2 and two on the season. As I stated, um, averaging 29 points a game. They're giving up 21 points a game. 49ers come into this averaging 23 points a game on offense, um, giving up 25 points a game. The fact that the Niners are scoring 23 points a game on average with um, – never knowing who's going to be on the field. They, they don't know who their quarterback, running back. I mean, it seems to be a week-to-week -week trial basis, depending on who feels good and who's going to play and, and whatnot. And, and is Kittle going to play today or is he not going to play? What running back's going to be there? What's our defense going to look like? Looks like Norman's questionable for this game. And the Rams got a new toy, Odo Beckham Jr. Um, I don't think Stafford needs any more toys, but, I mean, he lost Robert Woods. That's a big blow to the Rams. But then you insert... Odell Beckham into that. We know he can run routes. We know he can catch footballs. We know he wants to be fed. We know he wants to win. I think the Rams run away with this game. It's three and a half. I'm definitely jumping on the Rams. Um, minus three and a half. It's at minus 105. I'm going to put a unit on it. We had a big two unit winner yesterday right here on YouTube. And um, with the Anaheim Ducks. Yesterday, this this weekend was awesome for me. It was 11-3-1 overall. My top plays of the day just lights out. Absolutely smoked a four-unit and three-unit play yesterday. Took the Anaheim Ducks three-way as one of my um, top plays of the day. That was an even money three-unit play. And then I had the Bruins um, in regulation. That was my four-unit play. Absolutely smashed it. College basketball, ECU Pirates, Vanderbilt. My only loss of the day was the Raiders, and I pushed on the Suns team total over. The Suns scored 35 points in the fourth quarter. I honestly thought it was, I was like, that. Ah, that's a loss. There, there's no way they're scoring 35 points in the fourth quarter. But they did, and it pushed. Um, so thankful for that, and we rock and roll, and we live on. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with a little more for you. But um, I will get a Patreon card out, and um, I will have that taken care of. But as for my top play of the day, I'm going to hold off just because if we lose power, I won't be able to fulfill you know, your guys' needs, and I don't I don't want you guys to send me something that I can't uh, um, fulfill and back up today anyway. So with all that being said, we're going Rams. Um, minus three and a half as your official Ricketts Gridiron Paw Pick for this game. One unit play at minus 105. Hope you guys have a great day. Hit that thumbs up button for me if you could. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know who you're on for the day. And let's rock and roll. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.